Good day, everybody. This is Lone Eagle 112358. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it so very, very, very much. Really do. This is a quick video. Okay. And it's for the people who are asleep. Now, when Mandela hit, it. It. What, the, what it really did is that it took out a lot of options for a lot of the things we've been presented with in life. And. One particular subject at hand is global warming and Al Gore. In 2006, this documentary was released. It did a lot of damage to the world. A lot of fear. Okay. In 2006, if you didn't believe in global warming, if you didn't believe um, in Al Gore either, then you had a safe spot to run to someone asked you do you believe in global warming and you're fearful enough to say no and then you can get ridiculed and shown all kinds of facts and then you're you know <clears throat> you're persuaded and if you don't like the other option then you could just recline you could seclude yourself you could run you can hide to the other option so you don't have to go extreme left, you don't have to go extreme right. You could pull back from the conversation and not have to give a real answer. And then you can live by that forever and hide. You don't have to say, yeah, there is a conspiracy. Or, yes, Al Gore is right. Because a lot of people chose the other option and I was hiding. That's why a lot of us conspiracy theorists have trouble pushing through this world proving stuff because the people who need to stand up and fight they, they seclude they run because they don't want to deal with the negativity they don't want to deal with life life's too easy on this earth the computers made it so easy they don't want to be disrupted so your option in 2006 was to seclude yourself run and pick option C which is whatever and then your mind can rest at ease knowing that that whatever can be explained, but you're not going to take the time to study it, but your mind is at ease. And that's all you care about. With Al Gore's documentary on the global warming back in 2006, it was damaging, right? It was shown in all kinds of classrooms, indoctrination, you know, workplaces. Anywhere where there is an environment push, you know, all these snowflakes talking about the North Pole and the polar bears, the penguins, well, the polar bears, penguins are south, <clears throat> but in 2006, here's the difference between then and now, in 2006, the globe that I'm looking at right now used to have an ice cap on it. It was printed onto the globe by a machine using ink. Before 2008, and I could go back 100 years before that. Let's go back two, 300 years. Fuck, 500 years. Find me the oldest globe in the world doesn't have an ice cap on it but yet in 2006 we were told that ice cap that isn't there is gonna melt so let me get this straight <clears throat> well let me get let me let me let me paint a picture here I could take my globe right now go to my next door neighbors because I guarantee she believes in global warming and I could show her my globe and be like, didn't Al Gore say that the polar cap at the North Pole, if it melted, that the world was in a lot of trouble, that New York, all the coastal cities, LA, Singapore, everywhere would be flooded, that we would have to make a new world map, that temperatures would rise and fall, that the earth might wobble? Didn't he say that? And then they'll be like, well, temperatures did rise, they did fall. I'm like, yeah, that's because your, your planet's moving. Your continents have shift, shifted, and you don't even know it. 
they'd be like, well, the sun's in a different direction, a polar shift. I'm like, no, that's not a polar shift. That's a sun shift. That's a star shift. Maybe Al Gore and company knew this was going to happen and knew these things were going to happen, so they jumped the gun on us. Just like they are with the movie Mandela Effect coming out 2018. But here's the point of this video. And even you must think about this and ponder it. Is that all these people in 2006 when they believed in Al Gore, when you show them this globe and you ask them, well, no, you just show them the globe. And they then, right on the spot, right now, as we speak, have to make a decision. They either have to say, Oh, I guess Al Gore is wrong and join the conspiracy that global warming is just that, a conspiracy theory, theory. Or they have to learn about the Mandela effect. But there's no more safe ground for this conspiracy theory. There's no more, oh, well, um, I don't even know what they would say to this. There's no middle ground, that's the whole point of this video, is to show you guys that there are a lot of things like this. This is just one example of how there's no middle ground for a lot of these conspiracies anymore. The zombie now must choose. Did Al Gore lie to me and that's a conspiracy right there? Or what? the F is going on and then you and I enter the picture and go welcome to Mandela either way the zombies are going to wake up they have no choice they just don't know it yet okay share this with people explain this to people learn this little trend we just witnessed right now with Al Gore and how people have to pick and there's no more middle ground if you have a middle ground to run to, please let me know what it is in the comment section below. What's that middle ground? Explain to people how there's no more ice cap on my globe, but yet New York is still above water. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you very much for taking the time. I'm going to start repeating myself, so I'm going to end it there. End it like a pro. <laughs> but seriously... There's no medium ground anymore. And I challenge you guys, please, in the comments section below, find me another example just like this. And here, I'll lead, okay? Another example of this is the dinosaur one with the meteorite in New Mexico. Or I mean, in uh, the, Mexico, uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Old world and new world both have different gulfs of Mexico. They're both shaped different, but yet a meteorite hit there? No, now we're forced to make a decision. I could be wrong there, I don't know, I think they're both related. But that's what I'm talking about. We have to start questioning stuff. Did a meteorite really hit there? The answer is no. And, and, if the answer is no, then where did the dinosaurs go? You see what I mean? There's no medium ground for a lot of these things called conspiracy theories. Alright guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe. Have yourself a wonderful day, okay? I love you guys so very much. Keep your head up. Optimistic Prime, alright? No fear, one love. Harmony, love, abundance, peace, freedom. Lone Eagle, 112358. Peace.